In this session, we're going to get started with the interactive tools in CorelDRAW. And the first one we're going to take a look at is the transparency tool. This tool is going to be a very important tool in your graphic design work relating to apparel design. It's probably one of my most important tools. We'll take a look at the fundamentals of working with the tool, and then we'll take a look at applying some distress, grunge, and artistic effects to graphics with this tool. I'm going to go ahead and open my design base, and I'm going to bring in a design and I think I'll bring in a very simple text design because we're working with the Getting Started in CorelDRAW series. And I'll just double click this, open a new document, I'll go ahead and select everything, lasso, hit Control C, I'll go ahead and minimize the design base, minimize this page, go back to my training page here and paste that in. First of all, let's take it to look at the very basics of the transparency tool. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup here. I'll just duplicate this down here and we'll put some transparency on the Warriors text. You'll find it down here. It'll be underneath your blend icon in the toolbar. Hold down left mouse button, go all the way to bottom, and you'll have your transparency. Once again, you'll notice that your properties bar will change to your transparency. Now, you can come up here and apply this way, or you could left click, hold down, and drag, and that would create an interactive transparency. We'll hit Control Z. We'll go back up here, we'll left click and, and apply a uniform transparency here. You'll notice that we see some options here for our transparency, how it will be applied. Now I'm not going to go through all of this, we're just going to go through the basics here, but you can change it with this slider here. You can make an object more transparent, take it up to 78, or you can left click, hold down, slide it back and make it less transparent, or you could key this in on your keyboard and hit enter. You can also select, and I'll go over here to my object properties, and I'm going to put an outline on this of, let's say, eight points. Right now, my transparency is set up to be selected to all, selected to be applied to all of my graphic, both fill and outline. I can change that here. We can go outline only, or we can go fill only, and then we won't have our transparency applied to our outline. Now we've got a couple of different types here. We can go with a linear, and a linear transparency functions very similarly to the interactive fill tool. You can see we're going from black, that's where our transparency is. I'm going to change this back to all, to white, which is has all of the color. There's no transparency here, and then it bands out through to the end of the black. There's a sliding point here, which is your midpoint, and you can change that left click hold down and drag right there now you can also select grayscale colors let's say I wanted to bring my transparency to be more darker here I could put a white here and that would be dark I could put a lighter gray here and I can affect my transparency by dragging grayscale color chips directly onto my interactive transparency set for linear in Corel Draw we can also go with a radial, as you can see right there, and we can also go with a conical and a square. So very similar to the interactive fill tool. If you missed that session, go back and check that out and you'll get some better idea on how you can work with the transparency here. I'm going to go ahead and take my outline off. I'm going to come over here and click down. You can also go with a two color pattern. And you'll notice that when you apply that transparency, you have the same control handle for the tile or the seamless tile that we had back with the interactive fill tool. And we can select, left click, hold down, rotate, move, and change the position of things. Come over here and we can select a different pattern such as that one. You can also come over here and change our starting transparency, left click, hold down, and slide that to 100 left click hold down and change our ending transparency to zero and that will adjust that or we can go into the middle and have different levels of transparency based on our effects one thing we want to take a look at you'll notice that I have this set up here and I click on my transparency we will make this square pretty big here that if I do resize this down to a smaller size we go back to my transparency it does not resize automatically with my graphic. I'll hit Control Z. You want to come here to Edit Transparency and select Transform Fill with Object. 
select OK, and then if I go ahead and resize this, we'll see that our transparency will resize with our graphic. Go ahead and make this bigger, and we'll click this again. I want to make sure I got that selected. Transform fill with object, yes. Okay, let's take a look at our fashion factor and supplying some really unique distress effects using transparencies. I use transparencies most of the time when I'm creating these types of design effects. I'm going to go ahead and select everything here and combine it. Let's take a look at a design from Aeropossum. We'll zoom in here and we can see we've got some distress and grunge going on here. And in my mind, the best tool for that is transparencies in CorelDRAW. Also, the Fashion Factory, which has several hundred textures and effects that you can apply to your designs. And if you're going to be in the apparel business, you're going to have to be able to design like this because people are going to be asking for these effects. Not only that, if you listen to the Brian Skaggs interview on AdvancedT-shirts.com, he grew his business from $250,000 a year to $750,000 a year using our tools. He's using effects constantly to do upselling. The client comes in and says they want a one-color design that says SoCal Surf Crew, and you make it two colors and add effects to it and say, well, here's the design you asked for, but here's a design we put together with different colors and effects for you. Which one do you think looks better? Eight times out of ten, the client's going to look at the design with the effects and the colors and say that one looks much better and you can tell them, well, you can have this one for just an extra $2 a shirt. So it only sounds like $2, but if it's 100 shirts, it's $200 more in your order. So we're going to have to be able to design like this to work effectively and draw in parallel design. I'm going to go to my design base, and I'm going to grab a comp before I start applying these effects and just set this graphic up on an actual comp. Got that selected. We'll go with a full front comp. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Go ahead and take my graphic here and center it up and make it a little bit bigger on the garment. And we can see how we can move from a hard edge vector to a nicely effect designed very easily using transparency. I'm going to go ahead and resize this just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and hold down Alt, select the color underneath and change this to like a gray. Because this is going to be gray, I'm going to go ahead and take this bitmap, which is a monochrome, but I'm going to change it to an RGB. Go to RGB mode, and then that looks a little bit better when you're dealing with the grays and the darks. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to fill this with a gold color. I'll go to my Pantone solid coat coated palette and just scroll in here to where I'll see the gold colors. Right there, something like that or like that. Next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and open up my Fashion Factory. So I'll go to Advanced Tools, Fashion Factory 3, and that'll open up. I want to add a kind of paint effect to this. So I'm going to go all the way to the end here. And I'm going to be looking for a texture called Straight Cracks. Where is that? Right here. I'm just going to go ahead and double click that. And you can see you can get some big previews here. But this looks like cracked paint. And we can go back through here and look at some of the different textures and effects that we have for distress, grunge, and artistic looks and other effects in draw. I'm just going to click on apply as transparency. Now when that comes in it knocks out a lot of the graphic. Now if I want to do that when I'm creating distress and we had a complete training series on the site for distress, grunge, and artistic looks under the Fashion Factory and Training Series I'll show you everything you need to know about creating these looks. That's too much distress and grunge in there, and I want to make an adjustment to that. So I'll go back to the transparency tool. My properties bar will change. I'll left click and bring my starting transparency down to zero, and then I'll left click and bring my ending transparency up to 100%. Then I will go to my edit transparency and select transform with fill just to lock that in. And then I can zoom in here and take a look and just resize and tweak this effect. And I'm happy with that. Now what I want to do is I want to add some outline to this just to bring some more definition to the text. The text looks a little bit faded out here. But if we bring a distressed outline on it, we're going to bring it back to life on the garment. So I'll just go copy. Then I'll go paste. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change my outline to, let's say, two points. I'm going to go behind, fill, scale with image. And you can see with the transparency setup, that's not quite enough. So I'm going to go to, let's say, four points. And now I'm getting more. And then we'll go back up here and we'll go to, let's say, eight points. 
and I'll go over here to my Pantone go up to my Pantone trans white and right click to make that white and you can see now that we've got this set up we've got that white outline on there that adds some more distinction to design but I'm actually going to take it a step further I'm going to go copy and paste again I'm going to put a four a three point outline on this time and make that a black and I'll go to a four point here now I'm starting to overrun my distress with all of these different objects piled on top. So I'm going to left click and take the fill out there. And then I'm going to go ahead and alt all the way back to the second object and remove the fill there also. And now you can see that effect. Now I'm not sure I like that too much. It looks like there's too much going on. I'll hit control Z and leave that like it is. All of this being done with the Fashion Factory textures and transparencies directly in Corel Draw. So we'll go ahead and wrap here on transparencies and you can check out a complete training series on advancedtshirts.com relating to working with the Fashion Factory and creating all kinds of looks like this that are very popular in the market similar to this Aeropostale design very easily working with the Fashion Factory and textures in Corel Draw. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.